everybody and welcome back! Today we are going to expand on my last video where I talked about the possibility of maybe in the future adding orbital construction. So I decided to develop my own construction yard and well in the beginning it did not go that well. Yeah, a lot of wobble in this one. So yeah. I thought maybe it looked good in exploding but the lag was so bad that yeah even that didn't go that well so it was time to head back to the drawing board and that meant doing all of this again yeah so once I had strutted everything up we went fine up until first stage separation so here we go this is not the front, but the rear of the installation. I'm sending it backwards into space because of aerodynamics. And when I decided to ditch some fairings in the upper atmosphere, I decided apparently to ditch some other stuff as well, involuntarily. Okay, but still the main hull was intact and I thought, well, maybe this can make orbit nevertheless. So yeah, I gave it a shot, but as you can see in a few moments, look at that. This looks like a kind of Sauron spaceship or something. But as you can see now in the top corner, uh, my fuel is running out again. Yeah, so another try has to be established, this time with additional boosters. That would give me a few hundred meters per second of delta V again. But yeah, I botched up the placement of the decouplers and so again it was not a success. Regardless, I decided to, well, since the uh, thrust to weight ratio was more than one, I thought, well, maybe we can get this into orbit anyways. But yeah, the separation was not clean for some reason because staging messed up somehow and again I had to do another run. But this time the placement of the booster decouplers was better. Still some fireworks though, but no damage to the main ship. That meant we could get back up, well not back, but up into the atmosphere, fine stage separation there. So we are now on our final booster engines, we're already coasting in the upper atmosphere and towards apoapse. So I'm skipping ahead as you can see through some of the footage, because who wants to see 30 minutes of ascent of a big space vehicle when you can watch it in 4 times acceleration. Okay. Back in orbit, time to circularize and skipping ahead to the part where we actually circularize. I had to disable scatterer and EVE for the ascent because it messed up everything and I crashed all the time, but in the end I enabled it again once it was in orbit or at least almost in orbit. So time to get rid of those boosters. They have some probe cores installed and batteries and the like, so I can deorbit them so they don't be in the way of my new permanent orbital shipyard. I decided to call it the Space Womb. Okay, but first we have to get this thing out of the way. I'm putting the fairing away so I can actually select the probe core. Otherwise, for some reason, it would want to steer that thing from the direction of the docking port for reasons. Okay, this is now on the suborbital trajectory. And since I decided it was too cumbersome to do this four times, why not spin the entire station around and extend the solar panels while we're at it and then decouple the boosters and so they only have to go straight ahead. Said and done, here we go, here's the next one, I'm going to skip ahead to the third one, there we go, booster away, boom. As you can see here, there is enough space for it to just fly through that. This is the bridge of course, with some antenna over there, 
fairings are just for decorative purposes. And away with you, the final booster. Bye bye. You might wonder what that weird shape in the rear of the installation is for. Well, I'm going to show that to you a little bit later. Of course, this space shipyard has a lot of docking ports for other craft to dock. And here it is, the pièce de résistance. My door. It's an eight-segmented, fully stock iris door, so to speak. The door segments are all their separate vehicles with some tiny RCS engines and they can only fly in one straight path so they dock again with the main ship. And you can use action groups to couple and, well, to toggle those thrusters. Okay, so we need some fuel or resources actually to build some ships. And in order to do that we need some asteroids. Here we've got a B-class asteroid and we're already in space above Kerbin. I have constructed some tiny little grabbers with RCS modules that I'm using to make the asteroid actually really controllable. There we go. Two on these sides. Let's try to aim those a little bit in the center of the others so that we can sort of create some kind of equator. Okay, looking good. Nope, bouncing off the rock. Come on. Why are we using those claws when they don't attach? Now they do. Okay, and the final one. You may have noticed I'm using the docking port alignment indicator, which means I'm using the that thing by controlling it from the docking port and targeting the other docking port. That means I'm lining them up perfectly so they are actually really opposite of each other. And that would, in theory, increase my control authority over the asteroid. Okay, so we're trying to dock with the asteroid. There we go, this works as expected, so we control, can control this big heap of rock by moving it around. Because I forgot to add RCS thrusters to the main ship. Okay, what is this now? I encountered a few problems. For some reason my asteroid grabber continues to wobble around uncontrollably and blink it and you miss it, it's gone when you time accelerate. Somewhere. I don't know why. I don't know where. Hmm. I tried again and then I got a dock with the asteroid. Finally, then everything wobbled and we lost our orbit. We kind of were just hanging there. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, so I decoupled again. So, yeah, this does not wobble anymore. It has its orbital path back, which is good. So, what about the asteroid grabber? Hmm. Still no orbit. This is the orbit of the asteroid, not of the asteroid grabber. Okay. Oh, what's that now? Moving over terrain? Hmm. Okay, enough with this. If the game is cheating on me, then I'm cheating on the game and I just teleported the asteroid in close vicinity of my space womb. No time for Kraken today. Okay, I skipped a little bit ahead and yeah, there you go. We are placing this B-class asteroid at the tail of the space womb. And there we go, we have some drills that drill inside the asteroid so we can extract some ore. And those facilities that are opening up are hiding the refineries. And in my imagination, these refineries do not create fuel, but they, they create some parts and other parts and then enable the space boom to actually create spacecraft. So let's open those doors again. Okay, wait until they've docked. They have to dock eight times. There we go. Eight times docked, turning off the throttle. And then let's exit what has been waiting inside. There it is! A 10 meter flying saucer, kind of. Okay, so this is it. This is my space womb. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.